Frontline offers the alternative to analytics complexity. We focus very much on making things easier to learn, easier to use, and easier to deploy. And you can see that we offer full spectrum advanced analytics, including both predictive and prescriptive. As a company, we've been around actually for a long time. We're known for having developed Solver in Microsoft Excel, and there are in fact over a billion copies of Solver in people's hands. Three years ago, we introduced a REST API, an analytics API that can be called from any sort of web application. Last year, we introduced point-and-click deployment to Power BI and Tableau, and this year, point-and-click deployment into Power Apps and Microsoft Flow, which brings us towards decision automation. 9,000 organizations have actually purchased from us. We are a subscription software company. We started the transition from paid up software licenses and annual support to a subscription model back in 2015. In predictive analytics, using either forecasting, traditional forecasting or machine learning, we ask what will happen. And then in prescriptive analytics, how can we actually intervene? What decision can we make to alter the future so it comes out in a way more favorable to us? Prescriptive analytics, yes, it relies on data, but not necessarily big data not necessarily predictions, and not necessarily, in fact, not often single cases. It very often uses regular BI data, actuals, and summarized or aggregate data. Prescriptive analytics models are almost always business-specific and human-built models, and that will carry a number of implications. Prescriptive analytics for sure yields real return on investment, real ROI. There is very often low-hanging fruit realizable near term. And this is true in every company we've dealt with. We don't do BI, we don't do data visualization in any significant way. And our sweet spot we feel is business analysts and web developers, not necessarily analytics groups or CIOs or CAOs even. Predictive models can be fitted. Prescriptive models generally have to be formulated by a human being. We actually love R and support it in our SDKs. But really, we think that is the lowest level, least productive, most error-prone approach you could take to doing prescriptive analytics. So if you are going to work in a programming language, you should at least use a high-level object library. There are actually still higher-level modeling languages that have been around for a number of years. We have one that's very new called Raison, but SAS has something called OptModel. IBM has Opal. FICO has something called Moselle. And these are actually quite productive tools. It's hard to find a multi-purpose prescriptive analytics high-level modeling language. Now, there is one, and it's ours. None of these modeling languages is anywhere near dominant, or for that matter, even widely known. Excel is familiar to a lot more people. And so there might be some merit to using Excel for these analytic applications, including prescriptive analytics. Raison will take you from Excel directly into Tableau and Power BI, and actually into tools like Microsoft Flow for live business services. In every large company that we've encountered, there's lots of low-hanging fruit for near-term ROI, and there are potential modelers in most organizations. We don't do grand multi-year digital transformation. We don't try to prescribe our own data governance or model governance solution. We have three different ways that interrelate and integrate nicely, but three different ways to build a model. First is in Microsoft Excel. Second is in this modeling language called Raison. And the third is in our SDKs. We offer the alternative to big software, big projects, long time frames, big budgets. We can help you get things done near term and realize real savings this quarter or in the next six months. And we have seen this happen over and over again. All over companies in virtually every division, almost every functional area, there's just opportunities to actually capture business value. And we're trying to enable people to do that in a modern environment where companies are transitioning from the desktop to the cloud and we're trying to support them on both sides. It's good for this purpose, and we think that Raison is great for the modern cloud world. People are going to really pay attention to prescriptive analytics, and it's a nice place to be.